Dylan Hubbard here of RWTX. Are you considering buying some cars to move coal on your layout? Well, video six of the product comparison series is on Beth Gone Coal Hoppers. Today, we're going to look at the differences and similarities and all the special features of the various models available today. So let's get rolling. First up, we have a Walther's train line, Beth Gone. Um, Horn hook couplers, plastic wheels, no bracing on the inside, molded um, details, pretty basic car. You can find them on eBay or online. Next up is ENC shops. These are out of production. You can find them at eBay or train shows. Um, plastic everything. Check out the video at the top right if you want to see um, what these things are like to put together. Now it's Walther's ready to roll. I believe these came with plastic wheels and plastic couplers. Um, they came in six packs as well with molded, uh, molded details and everything. Basic cars, but, um, good to add to your layout. Up next is an operator, Beth Gone. These come with no details added, so you can add them later, but metal wheels, scale trains, couplers, a couple of parts, and the bracing on the insides there, and decent weight as well. Um, now we've got inner mountain car. These have, uh, metal wheels, KD couplers. Um, no in platforms, but they do have the bracing inside and very little molded in details. Pretty basic car, really. And next is Athen ready to roll. He's going with KD couplers, metal wheels, uh, metal added detail, grab irons, lots of awesome parts for these. Um, etched metal um, brake pl platforms. Here's a rivet counter, Beth Gone. Um, got a scale trains coupler on there, metal wheels. Um, etched metal parts, etched metal brake platforms, even roller bearing caps, which we'll check out later, even a coupler cut lever as well. So now I'll let you take a look at the coupler heights. And while we're going through this, I just want to mention that it, it fascinates me with these cars because um, with all the different manufacturers, there's not really one or there's not a variety of good options for some really highly detailed cars. Um, with Beth Gons. And now take a look here at the uh, packaging of these items. Um, you can see this train line car comes in a pretty basic um, basic package and here's the, uh, the ENC kit. You notice a couple of these cars I don't have packaging for so like I had before I just kind of um, grouped them with similar um, packaging like this Athern ready to roll car comes in something like the scale trains boxes. Um, and then the Walther's ready to roll, which is the green car that you see on the ground now, or on the table. Um, that comes in something, you know, like, like any other car. They come in six packs, but it's just, you know, two pieces of plastic sandwiched in the car together. Um, you gotta like the, uh, the scale trains packaging and, and how they come with that little, the little flyer about, you know, information about the car, the prototype itself. Um, I feel like that's a a nice touch that uh, Scale Trains has added. And here's the um, here's the last cars like I'm showing there that that'll come in a six pack. And these Inner Mountain cars, they I mean it's just sandwiching two pieces of plastic there, and uh, nothing special, but it does the it does the job. Now you can just take a look down at the sides of these cars. Um, just want you to notice or at least remember, um, the Athern ready to roll cars are very shiny and almost, you know, aluminum looking. So, uh, that's pretty cool. And then here's a little closer look down. You can get a, a look at the, uh, the decals and some of the separately applied parts as well. And even the couplers and, um, also the, the truck on the river counter car has some letters on it. In this next view, you can see it as well. But here's the uh, bearing caps. You can see them rotating there on the rivet counter car. And uh, here we'll take a look at the ends of these cars. Um, this gives you a good uh, a good look again at the um, the couplers. Also, you can see some of these that have the um, the brake platforms. Um, also, the extra details that these last two cars have just adds a lot a, a nice touch to them. Now we're going to see how these things roll. Um, I kind of put the 
Walter's ready to roll in a Rick counter car. You can see at the top right here, that's they kind of roll to the same distance. And then this ENC car, it it rolled so so slowly and and just not very far at all. I didn't even bother to show um, where it went to because it didn't end up in the in the view of my camera. But here's the rest of them, and they all they all ended up pretty much in the same exact spot, which was pretty cool considering one was the train line car, which is way way cheaper than the rest of these cars. Um, kind of goes to show you that how, how significant the weight of these cars is and how well they roll. And, you know, also um, when you go and start put metal wheels on that car and really fixing it up, you can make yourself a nice car. So now, uh, last segment of the video, I want to take a look from the top of these cars. First things first, um, just notice that you'll see the two Walters cars don't have the bracing on the inside. Um, I like the bracing on the inside, even when I am putting a load, because it just, I, I like the idea of being able to take the load out and it still look, look, look like a normal car. But the main thing I want to point out is um, the walls of these cars and how thick or thin they are. Um, the Walters cars have thicker walls. You can see that ENC car has really, really thin walls. Um, so if you're wanting to get a load for these cars, um, they're not all necessarily going to fit the same. Some are going to be a little wider, some are going to be a little narrower. Um, so you might you might want to really consider that if if that's what you're going to do. Um, you can see the Atherin car, as of what I'm doing right now, it it, it comes with a load. So um, that one I I guess you'll be you'll be set for. All right, so that's all for Beth Gons. A um, couple things I want to um, talk about on this uh, comparison table here. Um, regarding the prices, um, this is, I just broke down the um, pricing on that Atherin six pack to the price per one car. So that's how I came up with that ranking on that one. And uh, the packaging, I wanted to um, give an edge to the Scale Trains brands of um, rivet counter and operator for having that little that little uh, paper in there talking about the prototype um, with the availability scores um, to avoid any ties I would use eBay and uh, any um, any ties would be settled using um, however many uh, listings eBay would have for a specific car so the more uh, the more listings a car would have I would give it uh, make that a tiebreaker as far as these scores, how they came out, I mean, you can see Operator came up with the uh, the best score overall. Um, we had a three-way tie for second. And um, in terms of Operator, I mean, if you can get detail kits for that, so those are pretty nice cars. Um, they also roll well, as you saw. Um, the Inner Mountain car, I, I would honestly rank that one last if it was completely up to myself. It just seems overpriced and very little detail in that car. Uh, my personal favorite is the Atherin cars. Um, speaking of which, they are going to be releasing some of those, um, some new new runs. Um, it'll be in, I think, at the end of the year or the beginning of next year. A lot of a lot of new schemes, so that'll be fun. Um, I, I also like ENC because of the they have a lot of road numbers available in the cars that they made. And uh, speaking of um, a lot of, I guess this would be a lot of uh, road names. Rivet Counter would be very, very nice if they made more road names available. I really think all they make is Conrail right now. Um, so if they started making more, that would be an even better option. Um, but anyways, that's all we got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I enjoyed making it as always. Um, if you uh, if you did find this helpful, please give me a, a thumbs up down there. Please subscribe. Um, I, I'm trying to get these videos out as, as fast as I can. And you guys are seeming to like them, so I'm going to keep doing it. Um, if you have any trains that you want to buy, trains that you want to sell, get a, get a hold of me over on my Facebook page, uh, the Railroad Company of West Plains, RWTX. Um, check out the HO Hub. That's where the, you can buy some trains as well. Um, if you guys have any ideas on how to help me get more cars, um, you can get a hold of me over on Facebook as well. I would appreciate that. Um, anyways, until next time, guys.
Have a good one.